Hello? Uh, Robert, this is Frisco. What's up? Uh, we've got a face for you. A face? What do you mean? Do you remember when Felicia thought she was being followed around by Slater a while back? Yeah, though I didn't think it was necessarily Slater, and I told her so. Well, your words hit home. Felicia spotted a guy at the diner today. She realized that we'd seen him before at a travel town bankruptcy sale not long ago. And she thinks he was the one that was following him? Well, you will too when you hear what comes next. Go on. We turned the tables on this guy, followed him when he left the diner. Guess where he went? Tell me. With the Donnelly's Pullman. What? Yeah, we lost him there. Did you actually see him talking to Sean? No. Well, we thought the guy ducked into the car, but when we asked Donnelly, he denied it. It's good work. Well, I just thought you might be interested. Where are you now? Tell us. Stay there. Be right over. All right, I want you to get a police sketch artist over to uh, Kelly's on the double. Look, now, what happened? Frisco and Felicia may have come up with something. Could be the break we needed. It's about time. All right, listen. Yeah. I'll uh, meet you at Kelly's. With a bit of luck. We might be able to derail Donnelly's Pullman sooner than we thought. I just caught a quick glimpse of him when he was leaving here, and then I ran to the window. And I was sure that it was him. Listen, before we continue, let's hang up the closed sign. I'd like this conversation to remain private. All right. I didn't get a good look at this guy until we actually started following him. But um, I'm definitely sure it was the guy at this travel town sale, right? Well, only something was different. What? Well, I couldn't put my finger on it at first, but then I realized that the man at the sale had a beard. Yeah, I could have sworn he did too. It'd be a simple matter to remove one. That's well, probably what he did. All right, so you tailed him to the Pullman. Right. You never saw him. Well, not that we know. No. How can we be sure? He never turned back, Robert. He never tried to lose us. He wasn't acting like a man who thought he was being followed. Well, of course, you'd have plenty of experience in this line of work. I've had a lot of practice lately. So it appears. Now, did this guy stop anywhere on the way to the Pullman? No, he went straight there. And that's where you lost him? Hmm? Well, we knew where he was. We just couldn't find him. Yeah, I've heard that before. He was on the train with Sean. You're certain he actually got on the Pullman? I'm positive. There's nowhere else he could have gone. What happened when you confronted Sean? He claimed he had no idea what we were talking he about. He denied seeing anyone get on the, on the car. Could he have been telling the truth? What do you mean? Maybe Sean didn't actually see this man. That's what I wanted. Well, then he's hiding something else on that train. Why don't you say that? He bent over backwards to keep me from looking around the place. Yes, but he let you look later. Well, he didn't stop me, but that's only because he didn't want to confirm my suspicions. Hey, you had to look around. Quick one. Nothing, right? No trace of the guy or anything else that shouldn't be there. Like the treasure. Well, whatever. But there was a second exit, and this guy could have slipped out when they heard Felicia and I coming up onto the observation platform. Uh, were you making any noise when you approached it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's got to be it then. He heard you coming and popped out the back door. While his boss detained him. What are you going to do? Go to see Sean, have a look around. There isn't much to see. I want to satisfy myself. Well, with any luck, Robert, you'll get an invitation to the wedding on wheels. We'll see. Before we deal with Sean, we have some, um, unfinished business to deal with here. We do? Yeah. Haven't you, uh, both got something for me? Both? Both of you, yeah. What? What? Well, if memory serves me correctly, it should fit into a brown paper bag. Maybe Ruby's got some floating around here. <clears throat> I don't really know. Why don't you have a look, then? I'll have some paper bags. Okay. I don't know what we'd have of yours. I didn't say it was mine. I said you had something for me. Well, if we do, we don't know about it. Then I'll just have to jog your memory. Uh, thank you.
just our luck that we decided to break into Donnelly's penthouse the same night you and Anna did. Timing never was your long suit. But I did beat you to the crown and jewels, Robert. If you hadn't got a refuse case, I'd probably weeks ago. You guys are on the same side now, right? Yeah. And I'm glad of it. Oh, my. I guess I am, too. You should be, kids, though. We need his help. And I need yours. All right, let's get back to the story. You managed to grab the crown and jewels. How'd you do it? We'd just gotten around to searching Donnelly's penthouse when you and Anna walked in. We were hiding in the closet. So you heard everything? Well, enough to be convinced that you three were working together. So, that's why you practically took my head off every time I spoke to you. Well, hell, I figured you were protecting your old WSB agent. Why didn't you call me on this? We could have sorted it out weeks ago. Because I thought you would tell Sean about it. From that point on, the only thing I cared about, Robert, was finding the treasure and finding the man who tried to kill my brother. I'd have done the same thing in your position. All right. How'd you get to Sean safe? Is this not one of your talents? I happen to have a great set of ears. I thought. We heard you repeating the combination when Sean came down and busted you. So you waited until Anna and I were shown out. Thrown out is more like it. You waited until he went upstairs in bed. We popped open the safe, grabbed the crown and jewels, and we split. Nice piece of work. Yeah, too bad we couldn't hide the bloody stuff as well as we stole it. Well, you fooled everyone but me. And you might have done that, too. Felicia here hadn't developed a bad case of nerves, and I started asking questions about the diorama. I was so sure I had your fools, I thought, you know, if you saw the jewels in there, you would have taken them right away. Well, you'd like to say, you found a good hiding place. In plain sight? Best place to hide something you don't want to be found. Yes, so you said. But what about the rest of the treasure? Sean has it. Where? Either on the Pullman or due to be picked up somewhere between here and Nag's head. He wouldn't risk loaning it before Charles. Damn. So Donnelly's got it all. Hold it this. Do you mind if I make a stupid suggestion? Go ahead. Why don't you confront Donnelly head to head? Tell him you know everything. Knowing and proving are two different things. How do you plan on catching Tom? With the treasure, if possible. Unless I have him swimming in evidence, he's going to find some way to avoid prosecution. Yeah. Well, could you use our testimony to, to catch him? That little stunt you pulled on television with the jewels and the diver virtually destroyed your credibility forever. Glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, well, on top of the fact that um, you stole the jewels from the original thief, it uh, makes your testimony practically worthless in court. What about the Pullman? The man's remodeling a railway car. There's no crime in that. There is if you store a fortune of stolen jewels in it, Robert. <laughs> sure, if you're smart, sir. Are you sure? I intend to be. That's why I want to have a look around that Pullman car for myself. I'm positive he's planning a rendezvous to collect. What happens when he does? I'll be on board to lend him a hand. With all the amount of evidence I intend to accrue, that's going to put him away for a long time. We'll be there. Yeah, that's right. Donnelly invited us along. Is that cool? Absolutely. I can use the help. Is in there? Sure, I mean. I'm looking forward to working with you both. Robert? We got here as quickly as we can. Ah, good. Let's go on. Felicia, you've got something for us. Listen, I want you to talk to the police sketch artist here. Give him all the details about the man you saw going into Sean's Pullman. Right. Uh, make it as detailed as possible. No more time. Then what? I want you to go with Bert. Where? Local bank. We have a safe deposit box there. I want you to put that bag in. What do you want me to do with the key? Keep it. Are you serious? I'm hoping that at this point you can both find it in your heart to trust me. Well, let me say it is sure a relief to have the police commissioner on the same side. And working together, and also helps that he's a former WSB agent. Okay. Hi, Robert. Hi, guys. I drop by. Glad you came. Uh, I'm aware of the Kelly from Spike Lee. Who would you like to eliminate him? Oh, uh, no, thanks, Bob. I'm meeting somebody at the diner. You know, I'd really like to stay in chat, Robert, and... Yeah, sure, I, I gotta get to work. You, know, you have the strangest hours. You know that. You know what it's like in my business, Tanya. I'm doing a special on the hospital right now, and uh, I got a lot of research to do, and I'm way, way behind. Come on. 
Well, who is it? Wait, why don't you take it in there? No, she can't. She's helping me with the uh, the research and stuff. You see, we're doing a special on hospitals, uh, doctors and nurses of Port Charles. Right, it's about their work and things like that. Right, right. Well, that well, sounds really... If you need some yeah, advice yeah, yeah, yeah. or anything, I could uh, give you some questions, yeah, to ask. Yeah, I could help you. You know, that is a definitely a good idea. I'll bring back some Chinese food uh, or Italian food later or something. We'll eat, okay? Italian. What? Italian, I said, not Chinese. Right, Italian. Uh, I'll see you all later, Robert. I'll talk to you later, all right? Bye. 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 Ciao. Oh, that's good. Well, I said, Tony, you wanted to meet him. Grace and I didn't quite get it straight, but that was the thing that you wanted to meet us here, right? Yep. I had an assignment for you, too. Um, there was something we wanted to tell you, too. We saw Grant's time at the hospital. Good night, I know his mom. You got yeah. it. Yeah. You have to be pretty Oh, it is. And what the time she says ran only took a half an hour for dinner that night. You sure? That's what the chart says, Robert. Black and white. Black and white what? How was it written? Pencil, ink, blood, what? Mm. Concentrating on the information, I don't know. I think it's going to get in your head. It was, it was ink. False, false winner. I'm not sure. There is no point in guessing. Right. See, there's a little more to police with than I thought. Let's move ahead. All right. Mm. I want you two to get over to Dino and establish the fact that Grant bought that pizza there. That's it? Just that he bought a pizza? Mm -hmm. Other detective work, like, uh, right at the time and departure. Need that time? Not as near as you can get. Try to put it down. Uh, no point in guessing in a case like this. Robert, Robert, wait. Um, it, it's surprising what people will remember if you just, if you just jog their memory. Um, you know, one question leads to another. It must be subtle. Hello. Cooperate. Come in, Robert. Uh, Anna's joined us. Oh, hello, Anna. Hello. Come and sit down. Why don't we all have a seat? Uh, I've got a couple questions for you first, Robert. Sure. First of all, what does Mr. Vane have to do with this? In this team? Yeah, team, if you want to call it that. That's what I want to call it, because that's what it's going to be. A combat team. Combat? Okay, but tell uh, me. Don't worry about Anna. She can carry her weight. She's trained in hand to hand combat and marksmanship. All right, but then why? Uh, why is she on the team? She's on the team because I want her here, and I really don't want to answer any more questions. Well, do me the favor. Uh, uh, you've got to understand something, Frisco. You see, in a combat team, you have only one leader, and that leader expects blind obedience from all of the members. Now, I'm going to be the leader. You don't like that, well, you better walk out right now. Frisco? Please, no, Just... Robert's right. Besides, we don't know anything about running a combat team. You really fight hand in hand? Yes. And two? Accurately. Oh, one more thing, one very important thing, is to get the treasure back and to get it out of our lives once and for all. Now, don't you see that? Okay, Robert. Your way. Right. Uh, do you have the uh, plans for the antique Pullman? Yes, I do. I copied them from the library. Now, um, this is a Pullman from the same era as the one that Sean has. And I also have a good plan of all the railways in the southeast. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay, let's go. We've got work to do. Right, this one's right. Places marked in red are uh, possible areas where the train could be diverted if that turns out to be Sean's plan. Right. And we can eliminate some of those spurs as soon as we know what route the train's taking. Yeah, we'll know that in a couple of days. Uh, in the meantime, I want you to get all of this memory. Okay. There is something that you can start on right away. Good. I want to be doing something, Robert. I want you to find or work out the whereabouts of everybody in the brownstone. The night down it was mugged, but you've got to do it in a way that they don't know what you're up to. Got it. Hey, so, one more thing. Yeah. Above and beyond anything, uh, safety of the women comes first, to the exclusion of the treasure of necessary. Yeah. Gives me an idea. A Felicia doesn't know anything about taking care of herself. Think Anna can help a bit? No, well, it's my responsibility. Do you have a phone I can use somewhere in private? This one. Hey, Robert, are you pretty well through with us? Yeah, we'll be in touch later. Okay, Felicia, about ready to go? Want to take off? Yeah, where? Uh, well, 
You'll be finding out soon enough then, okay? Oh, you ready? Surprise? Well, yeah, you could kind of call it a surprise. We're heading out. Uh, Goodbye, Anna. Thank you. Okay, right. What's the surprise? Just waiting to see. Robert, and it's all extremely boring. Well, what have you got? I followed Grant this morning, okay? Mm -hmm. He didn't go anywhere or do anything even remotely suspicious. Okay, I'll keep the guard down. I'll keep up the night of Asian Corps. Where do we go from here? Well, if you don't know that Grant's new for treasure, you might have thought him. Right. And whether he, uh, knocked down there or not, it's just to be proven. Yeah. He was established a cheap in his alibi. He's got our fourth player. That's the way I see it. Now, we've narrowed all the names down who live in the brownstone to one. However, the process of elimination won't hold up in court. We've got to have proof at the moment. We have a general indication that Grant might be associated with the treasure. How deep? We don't know. I might add nothing would give me greater pleasure at this point than to find one of my friends proven innocent. Well, it would make a change. But it's not going to happen. What do you want me to do? Tail Grant. Okay. Wait a minute, that's my job. Not anymore, and it's relieving you. Mm. Well, maybe you'll have better luck then, huh? I hate to bomb out like that, Robert. Oh, it happens, it's okay. What are you going to do? I have some business to attend to. Then I want to, uh, retrace the route that he took the night of Sean's party. Now, we know he went to the hospital, right. pizza parlor, brownstone, pizza parlor, back to the hospital. You know, that's a lot of after-dinner activity. I know. I want to figure out the quickest way point to point we might have achieved that. If, if he can't do it in an hour and a half, well... Why do you say that? Because that's as long as he was away from the party. If he can do it in the, uh, that circle in the allotted time, I think we've got a fourth player. Meanwhile, I guess... I guess I get benched, is that it? You got some work at the studio? Not right now, no. When was the last time you did some target practice? Well, it's been a little while. Well, you can't be too sharp. Get over there today. You ready? Yeah, I'll see you. Bye-bye now. Good luck. Bye. We'll be in touch. Mm-hmm. Well, so much for my brilliant detective career, huh? Robert, well, what are you two doing here? I wanted to see what was going on. There's a lot of things are going on. You can be sure of that. Sean just left the pool now. Grant's in there now alone. That's very interesting. You think so? But listen, we can't stand for that. You create the moment, so you can't. have to leave? We may all have to. But there must be some way that we can get inside the pool, huh? Well, what's the problem? He's put man on it. Well, can't you pull a brag on him? Well, that cause, I have no legal reason to just barge in there. Yeah. Why did you put a car over there? Good question. But, uh, we have a couple of theories. Which we won't go into at the moment. Wait a minute. Can't you just tell the guard you're a friend of Donnelly's and you want to check out the accommodations in the place because you're, you're taking a trip down south? I don't want to show him now if he's sniffing ground. Yeah, you see. Go out and tell Sean. Not if I'm not even close. We don't have to go. Are you two like the versions? <laughs> you want us to take that guard out of the way for a while? I can. No problem. What are you and Anna going to do? Sleep under the Pullman and see what uh, Grant's up to. Right. Felicia and I will handle the guard. Huh. I'll tell you on the way. Give us a couple minutes to set him up, all right, and then the coast is clear. Right. Be careful. Yeah. Robert? Mm -hmm. Sorry we're a little late. Ten minutes by my watch. Well, that's not too bad considering it. Not good. Well, it was my fault. No, I that actually was my fault. Now, look. Now, nine o'clock in this business means nine o'clock, barring any emergencies, in which case you call me. Well, I guess we shouldn't stop to have breakfast. Sorry. <sighs> Anna was here ten minutes early just to get coffee. Now, let's get on with it. Well, it's all ready if you want some. Well, I can use the second cup. I see Grant's a little bit later than we are, huh? Uh, he's left the hospital, some sort of medical emergency. He'll be here shortly. I hope you will like it straight. I'm afraid I couldn't find any cream. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I guess I'm not too organized in the uh, household department at the moment. Well, I just can't do everything. All right, what's on the agenda? Let's wait till we're all here. <laughs> Morning, all. Morning, Grant. <laughs> I'm not exactly used to people disappearing out of nowhere, you understand. Man, an old habits die hard. Uh-huh. You mean there are more secret ways to get in and out of it? Keep up the good work and I might show you. How many hidden places do you have around here, Robert? Well, as a matter of fact, I uh, have been meaning to show you. 
Now that you're on the team, you may need access to them in case of dire emergencies. Well, that's the part of this business I think I like. Yeah, but right now we have more pressing business, so let's get on with it. Subject is Prescott. Grant, can you describe the man if so? Give us as much detail as you can. Okay. He's six foot one, maybe six foot two. Muscular build, but not a bodybuilder type. His features are fairly regular. Blonde hair, light blue eyes. Beard? He had a beard, but he shaved it off. As I say, his features That's are very... That's the man who followed us to the bankruptcy sale, right, is he? Maybe. I don't know. It has to be him. It just looks just like him. Well, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Any identifying marker? Mm, none that I can recall. I wouldn't have seen him. I didn't get that close. But we're convinced here that you're both talking about the same man. Well, it sounds like him. Then it's worth a trip to New York. You looking for Manhattan, Robert? No, you and Felicia. I want you to go there and get a make on this guy. Make? His police record, if any. Yeah, look, I've already started the ball rolling. There's a friend of mine in the New York Police Department, a Captain Patrick. Now, he has a friend in his old precinct, a Lieutenant Rand Murphy. They're expecting you. So that's it. Just get the one more thing. thing. What, you take that uh, sketch with you, all right? How yeah. You going? Well, is that it? What about the meeting? You don't have to worry about that. You're on a, on a flight in 30 minutes. 30 minutes? You work fast, don't you, Rob? Come well, on. now you see why you can't be late for other people. And listen, guys, please, no second breakfast on the way to the airport, huh? Uh, please, you will restrain me. You know why we're there? We could stop at some busy shop and get some gay 90s costumes. Or even go to... Well, we'll talk about it, okay? Thank Bye. You. Yeah. Robert, it's me, first go. Listen, uh, I thought we'd report in. We're still at the precinct headquarters. Any results? Nothing. See. Now, even this computer system couldn't turn up anyone resembling this sketch. Hard to believe. Yeah, I know. Listen, I've been thinking about this whole thing. Is there any other kind of office that might have a bigger collection? What about the WSB? Don't they have makes on criminals? That's it. The WSB could have a bigger file of criminals? Yeah, listen, listen. Forget the mug shots. I'll bet you that our press got is former WSB agent. You think so? Check with Murphy. Now, he's got espionage files on his computer. Uh, ask him now, I'll hold. Right. Well, Robert, why don't you use the computer? Well, I could, of course, but I don't want to hone in on Frisco's assignment. Then I certainly Not really. I remember when I was uh, training, uh, supervisors would have me working out all the details. I'd spend days and days on it, and then they'd jump in for the strike. Robert? Yeah. Robert, yeah, I'm back. Listen. Uh, go ahead. Okay. It's right. He was an ex WSB agent. He's worked in Bolivia, France, and I've never heard of this place. It's uh, the Sakelis. Seychelles Island? That's it, yeah. Good work, mate. Yeah, hey, it's Murphy's computer, not me. Your idea to search that computer for WSB information? Well, you taught me that, Rob. Why'd they teach you? Never to accept incomplete answers to one's questions. Listen, and you enjoy the rest of the day down there, and, uh,. By Felicia, the biggest and prettiest gay 90s hat in Manhattan. But I want you back here tonight. Yes, boss. I'll see you later. Well, uh, you two made it back fast. Robert, you've got trouble. How? Not only he's on to you. He also knows that you were down at the Harbor Master's office, Anna. Oh, terrific. What's he going to do about it? He's going to put a 24-hour tail on you. See. You still going to be able to get out of town? I have to. I've got to conduct a search of that barge for the treasure. Then I've got to get over to WSB headquarters. Why, what's doing that? I want to check that list they've got on former uh, WSB employees. We've got Prescott. Maybe there's others in his operation. Maybe Morgan and Sora. All right. How do we make it appear that you're still here in Fort Charles? Anna, can we work something out? Well, we always have four. You're going to make it back to this little train ride? Yeah, but I can't guarantee I'm going to make it back before the uh, festivity schedule that are going to happen before the departure. Well, look, we got a cover for me. I'm sure that Donnelly's going to be watching. Wait a minute. I could... I could stall and divert him. How? I could get Derek Barrington to televise this whole Pullman thing live. Donnelly takes off after you will interview him. But if Derek won't do it... Well, you'll help me convince him. Derek usually goes for my ideas even if you don't. Oh, this idea I like. Um, what do you think? This guy's plan might work, besides it's anything we've got on such short notice. You and I will have to figure out the diversion that goes before this there. You stick around? Oh, of course. I have to get back to the hospital. You need hey. it for anything else, Robert? Go to work on your boss. Let's go. I'm having Valentine uh, check them out now, but 
I wouldn't be surprised if it turns out that Sean's entire team are made up of ex-agents. Were these guys dropped by the WSB or do you think they defected themselves? Oh, no, I'd wager that they were fired for a very good reason. Don't underestimate them, Frisco. You can be sure they're all hired because of their specific talent in one field. But we're not such a shoddy outfit ourselves. We've done excellent work. Thanks. So far. Oh. So we still haven't managed to catch Sean. I've come up with a plan, which I hope will do just that. We'll lay it on us. We'll need timing and a sense of execution to pull this off. What I want to do is play a game with him. What kind of game? Call it psychological warfare. Oh, yes. Sean's a master at mind game. Yes, but he's playing a different role now. He's used to being that of the hunter, not the fox. I'm gambling that Sean's going to outfox himself. Oh. I know Sean. He's tough and he's smart, but he has weaknesses. And it's going to be up to us to exploit those weaknesses. Now, this is going to get pretty dangerous before we're through. If you two uh, don't feel inclined to go through with it, well, Anna and I wouldn't blame you. No chance. And we're with you all the way. Good. Good. That just leaves Grant, and I'm sure our friend will want to be with us. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hello? It's me. Oh, hello, Grant. Are you all right? Yes, fine, thank you. Felicia and Frisco are here now with Robert. Uh, may I speak with Robert? Yes, of course. <laughs> Where are you? Down on the waterfront. Listen, we've got a problem and very little time in which to solve it. Sure. Sean is demanding that I come up with the jewels that Frisco and Felicia took. He's given me until the train leaves to produce them. Okay. Good. Good? Yeah. Yeah. This fits right in with the plan that I have to trap him. Hang on a second. Where do you keep the key to your safe deposit box? It's in the top drawer of my dresser in my bedroom. Why? Got to use it. Grant? Still here. All right. Now go to Frisco's place. Um, the key to the safe deposit box is in the top drawer of the dresser. All right. You want me to bring you the key? No. Give it to Sean. What? what? Uh, uh, now, listen. Tell him... Tell him he'll find the pieces in the box. That should satisfy him. It'll certainly convince him I'm on the level. That's the idea. I'll see you later at the Pullman. I'm on my way to Frisco's. What the hell do you think you're doing, Robert? Sean has asked Grant to bring him the jewels. Oh, great. So you're just going to go ahead and give them to him, huh? It's essential that we keep Grant in Sean's good graces. At the expense of losing part of the treasure? We're not losing anything. I will make sure that the men never get, his men never get to the safety deposit box. Now, take my duplicate key... Get the necklace and the bracelet and bring them back here. What about the crown? Leave it where it is. I don't understand. You went the crown in the box and found to keep the key? I don't think I understand either. The jewelry is our only weapon against Sean. It's obvious that he desperately wants the remaining pieces. Well, maybe his greed will make him act impetuously. And that would allow us to catch him red-handed. Hmm. Exactly. If we can't nab him with all of the treasure, maybe we can nab him with a portion of it. One way or another, we're going to put Donnelly away. Right huh? There they are. Oh, hello. Evening. 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 Well, it was nice of you two to tear yourselves away. <laughs> it wasn't easy. Where's Felicia? Uh, she's freshening up her makeup. She wanted to look especially nice for this occasion. Oh, she'd better hurry. Can't yeah. leave very shortly. She'll be here. Okay, then let's uh, let's all go inside. I think a toast is in order, eh? Mm. What? Go ahead. Thank you, Sean. All right, there we go. Thank you. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Champagne. Yeah. Oh, Cecilia, you hear that music out there? Isn't that lovely? Makes me want to propose a toast. Yeah. A splendid journey for all of us. Here, here. And uh, wonderful years of happiness to our newlyweds to be. Yeah. Yeah. Lily and Celia, I want to thank you for letting us join you at this special time in your lives. And I think that all the rest of the people here join me in wishing you the best now 
in many years to come. Yeah. All right. So bon voyage. Ah, Felicia. Oh, that's all right. Here's a drink to... Uh... Yes. Oh, Felicia. That necklace is gorgeous. Where'd you get that? My grandmother gave it to me. It's been in the family for eight. Ah. Oh. Train that takes me.